would. She had all those chocolate candy bars that she wanted to eat and all that other fattening foods. It's like, uh, yes, ma'am, I see that you have your health foods. Just set it down. <laughs> she got in front of me. And then the cashier started ringing up her stuff. And I said, ma'am, I'm not buying anything for that big old huge woman. I told her, put your stuff back now. My mother went to the store this morning. And she got really upset when she went to the store. When she got home, she told me that there was one cart left. And this old man ran up, grabbed the cart, and went, <laughs> I got it before you did. And my mother thought, the nerve of him. But, you know, she let it go because he's an old gentleman and, you know, an older man. And she called him a gentleman, but I wouldn't call someone like that a gentleman. Anyway, she grabbed a couple of items and she kept getting more and more stuff because she wanted to get the cart, but, you know, she didn't get to have it. Well, she was getting ready to get in line, and, it, and that same old man jumped in front of her. He jumped in front of Lane. It was my mother's turn. Well, she at least said, Sir, can I at least put some of these items down? My arms are really sore because I didn't have a basket. And he said, Yeah, whatever. <laughs> or something like that. Something very rude. Oh, something very rude. Well, anyway, when she set it down, that little cafe bell or whatever you call it there was moving along. And she said, Um, uh, uh, cashier lady, um, I'm sorry, but this gentleman's supposed to be next. Well, he grabbed her stuff, shoved it to the side, and said, Hey, I'm not paying for that. <laughs> 